<sighs> Jesus. Take the wheel. Um, Walking Dead. Episode 3. Season 6. For anyone that's watched, we all know what happened. Uh, my wife predicted this correctly. So, kudos to her. I did not expect this soon. Not even this soon, honestly. I probably thought like mid-season to late season or finale, but damn, third episode. Um, now, initially, my wife thought he probably wasn't dead, and I was gun-ho saying that he wasn't dead, and we sat back and rewinded the video again to see if we could see anything, and it looked like the guy fell on top of him. Then we started looking at it again, and it's... I'm to the conclusion now that he is gone, and if you watch The Talking Dead, it's actually a um, a statement from the producer that says something about him being dead. Now, my wife, because she's read the comics more than I have, she feels as though if he is actually dead, that Maggie's going to be pregnant, and that's going to be the the remnants of him that's going to appear in the actual uh, part of the season. Um, if you watch The Talking Dead, the guy or the producer was saying that you'll see some form of Glenn in form of a, of a flashback or some piece of him. And when you think about, you know, some piece of him, the only thing that can possibly be is him, um, him and Maggie having a kid. But I feel for her because she lost everybody, every single person. Um, man, it's, I, I don't know what to say. I'm pretty stuck. I'm pretty stuck. I'm not heartbroken like some fans are, and I'm not pissed, or I'm not extremely angry like some fans are, but I knew it was going to happen, but like I said, not this soon. Um, maybe your opinion. Maybe. Hmm? You listening? Yes. What was the question? Now, the the question, and I'm wondering if you guys have the same question too. How would you feel if Daryl or Michonne gets killed off this season? Michonne, I wouldn't care. Daryl, I will cry. Because I have, I, after this. It's not that I wouldn't care. Mm -hmm. But I'm not as, as, I'm not as attached to Michonne as I am to Daryl. Daryl is my little puppy dog. <laughs> if he dies a piece of me will die as well I don't know how I feel honestly I wouldn't cry but I'll probably sit there and I'll be I'll be upset I'll be pissed I'll honestly be upset so I was reading something hold on listen they said the reason why they was dropping clues that it was almost time for Glenn to go mm-hmm he looked at Hersh's pocket watch. I looked at that. He called Rick a dumbass, which is the first thing he called Rick when we first mm -hmm. met him. Um, he acted like a hero, giving himself the job to burn down the building. It could be his final act of maturation from pizza delivery boy to full-blown leader. He goes out like a hero by dying in his quest to protect others. I would agree. I mean, I felt like um, when they did the whole thing with him looking at Herschel's watch, to me that, that set off a red flag like immediately when I seen that happen. But then when he volunteered himself to go burn down the building, that's when I was like, okay, something's not right. And then when the guy, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say this, <laughs> I don't want to say this. But at the same time, I'm thinking a lot of people are going to have the same thought when I say this. But fuck that dude, because he's the one that caused this to happen. And he was the one that caused uh, Glenn to get shot in the woods. And um, he was also the same guy that caused Chris from, I don't even remember his name in the actual show. But um, Chris from Everybody Hates Chris to get killed in the turnstile because of the fact that he left him in there so um 
And every time Damn. he said, I'll help, Glenn looked at him like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it, It's... Damn, it's a it's a tough it's a tough pill to swallow, people. It's a tough pill to swallow, but um, yeah, Glenda is officially dead. And, officially. And, and as far as we know of, as of right now, he is dead unless they, by somehow miraculously show that the guy fell on top of him, and the guts that you seen coming out was coming from the other guy, and he made it out of that somehow, some way. So, I don't know how. Season finale. Mm -hmm. Could go one or two ways. Mm -hmm. Listen. Knowing that I call out shows. Okay. You have a pretty good track record with that. Yes. So yes. far. So, it could either go, they finally find out Glenn is dead. Right. And um, Maggie's pregnant. Maggie's pops up that she's pregnant. Or Glenn's been gone for a minute. Maggie announces she's pregnant, and Glenn walks up, and he's not really dead. Almost like a, everybody will cry. <laughs> almost like a, what's that? Like one of those be like what did like you just hero say? movies? And like, like I'm pregnant. Like Fast Seven when when he came walking from out of the fire, yes. like all dramatically, <laughs> all dramatic and shit. <laughs> that would be a good season finale. Um, I'm probably leaning more towards the first option, honestly, and. Post your comments below what yes, you think the season finale could be. Please. You be, think he's dead? You think he's not dead? Or even even just, just what are your initial feelings like as we speak? Because when it happened, my mouth dropped. I looked at the mirror. My mouth, my wife's my, uh, mouth dropped too. But, man, that's crazy. Third goddamn episode into the season. Third episode into the season. That's insane. Um Yeah. So that's all I got. So um like the wife said, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Let us let us know what you think actually. Um because I'm dying to know what you what your what your opinion is, what your feelings are right now and what your um there's your prediction in regards to the rest of the season and also the finale as well, too. Um, also, like, share, and subscribe as well. Um, you got anything, baby? I don't know what else to say. Until the next video, I will holler at you guys next time. Peace.